Hey guys, in this video we want to talk about currencies. We know that there are four types of income. That's earned income, passive income, portfolio income, and residual income. And we could talk about more about that in another video. But in this one, we want to complete the series on portfolio income. We know portfolio income includes stocks, which is primarily what I cover in this channel. They include commodities, of which there is a um, video on that in the channel, which you can find. And now we're going to talk about the other, which is currencies. So what are currencies? Currency is the money of a particular country. Every country has their own currency, such as the U.S. We use the dollar. Unlike stocks and commodities which move individually, currencies always work in pairs when trading, not when spending. Um, we know the U.S. dollar is one thing. You go to a store with a dollar, you spend it to buy something. But when trading in the currencies market, they always work in pairs. In a pair, only one currency can be successful at a time. So if one is moving up, the other is moving down. And you'll see a little more about that later. And currencies are transacted in pips, which is a fourth of a decimal place. Most currencies move over four decimal places. The Japanese yen moves over two decimal places. So, in the U.S. dollar, we have dollars and cents, and we know the cents are in two decimal places. But when working in the currencies market, which is pips, it moves over four decimal places, including the U.S. dollar. The Japanese yen is two decimal places, but most other currencies are four. So let's talk about a few different currency pairs. We have the euro against the USD, which is the U.S. dollar. And we know the euro is what they spend in the European Union. A number of countries in euro um, that share one currency. They're, they're a union. We have the U.S. dollar against the JPY, which is the Japanese yen. We have the British pound. Now, Britain was actually part of the European Union. But even though they were part of the European Union, they had their own currency. And now they've done a Brexit. It's been a few years now, I believe. They did Brexit, which means they exited the European Union. So they're standing on their own now. They always had their own currency, even when they were in the Union. But now they're not in the Union anymore. So we have the British pound against the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar against the Swiss franc. The Australian dollar against the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar against the Canadian dollar. And the New Zealand dollar, or Kiwi, against the U.S. dollar. Now, these are just a few currency pairs to give you an example. There is a whole bunch of them. But these are just a few to give you an example. And now we have some charts. So this top chart is the euro against the U.S. dollar. Notice it starts out with the... And the, the second currency pair is always the one... Um, in other words, euro, the euro is the first one. That will be the one going up. U.S. dollars down. So if we look, the euro is up. 
Then it goes down. U.S. dollar starts to move up. Back down a little bit. Euro moves up. Then down a little bit. Euro moves up. So what you're noticing is your money is never really stable. You have that U.S. dollar in your pocket and you feel that it retains its value or you feel that if that dollar in your pocket starts to lose value, it's over a period of two or three years. Actually, that dollar in your pocket is changing value just about every minute of every day. It's changing value and it's changing value against the other currencies that are in the market. These currencies are continually fluctuating. And here we see a bunch of different charts the Euro USD, British Pound, US Dollar, US Dollar, Japanese Yen, US Dollar, Canadian Dollar, US Dollar, Switch Franc. Australian dollar, U.S. dollar, New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar, the euro against the British pound and the British pound against the Japanese yen. So here I'm just giving you an introduction into what currencies are about. And actually, when you start to trade currencies, you can choose which way a currency pair is going to move. Let's say you feel that the euro is going to move up against the U.S. dollar. Then you would place the trade going in the um, going in the direction of the euro U.S. dollar. You would buy if you feel that the U.S. dollar is going to go up against the euro, or actually it's going to move down. I should say, then you would sell. Right? If you feel the second one is the one that's going to gain power, you would sell. So basically, that's how currencies works. I'm just giving you a brief introduction to it. There's lots of things that you could find out there, which will go into much more detail concerning it. But this is just to give you a brief explanation of how currencies work. Okay, guys, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day.